Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Saturday, March 2nd. Let's see what comes up. We're going to get one of these, and we're going to use that deck right there. Keep in mind that these daily energies um, are for whoever. It will not resonate with everybody. It will resonate with whoever it's meant to resonate with. Uh, my readings tend to resonate with people that... Um, I really connect with, you know, people that uh, comment a lot because I read their comments, you know, and I, and I, and because I approve all my comments. So I read their comments. I look at their name and therefore I'm, I'm instantly connected with you. Then when I go back and I love your comments, I go back later to go through them. I've read your name again. So now I've connected with you again. So anyway, that's who I usually connect with. Um, these readings are typically for people that are struggling in some way. Um, I tend to focus on love and relationships more than anything else. If something else comes out, I will certainly state that. We'll, we will see what comes up. Saturday, March 2nd. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. I can say March 2nd all day long. This could resonate on March 10th. It could resonate last week. Okay. What do we got? What am I picking up on? What do I need to talk about today? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what kind of message do we have for today? Now, these aren't reversals because this is an overall energy. Strength. Perseverance. <laughs> you know... I just noticed the lion's roar and that song instantly roar from Katy Perry came up. Um, hear me roar. You know, that's what this is about. This, this, and I, and I, I totally feel this energy. It's about showing the world who you are. That's what's going on. This is who I am. You cannot keep me down. That kind of energy. I will not back down. Hear me roar. Very, very strong energy. If you take a, take a look at that woman's face, um, she's she's got her mind set. You know, she's there's, there's no uh, breaking that face. Okay, she's very uh, unbreakable. Perhaps you know, it's an unbreakable energy. You know, it's time to celebrate your life, right? It's time to you know just be happy, go have fun, get out there. Mm. I think that somebody is coming out of a period of uh, denial, perhaps. Maybe somebody has let themselves stay down for too long, and now it's like, I'm taking back my power. I'm taking back my power. That's what I see. This is a, and this is a card of power as well. So this is this is definitely a a time it's a powerful time of taking back yourself. I think somebody has found the inner strength to overcome their own thoughts, their own um negative thoughts, their own mental prison, you know, their own ways of keeping themselves down, you know, their own sabotage, you know, somebody has found the ability to move forward, perhaps with some blind faith here, you know, I, I really feel like somebody has decided to set, set some boundaries and take back control, I will be in control, I am taking back control of my life, I am going to be happy, I'm going to go out there and be happy, it's time to celebrate me, it really is. So I feel like this energy that I'm seeing is is for somebody who is really standing their ground. I, you know, I'm really standing my ground and I'm no longer going to let myself be where I'm at, be where I've been. I, I'm stepping out of this space. That's what it looks like. 
I think somebody has lost the faith for quite some time, but now perhaps they're deciding that I can't, I can't, I can't allow my circumstances to control me and I'm in control. I'm going to dominate my happiness. I'm going to dominate myself. I'm going to dominate this life. I'm going to dominate this situation. There's a very, there is, it's a, it's a dominating energy, okay? Um... And I think, I, I really think that somebody has really gotten to the point where no matter what you do, no matter what anybody does to bring them down, I will not let that happen. You know, that kind of energy, it will not happen. You will not break me. You will not break me. That kind of energy. Um, I'm the boss. I'm the boss of my life. Yeah, because somebody was involved in in in, in a lose lose situation. You couldn't win if you wanted to, right? It was a, there was a lot of conflict. Um, maybe even a third party situation for some of you. Not everybody. I feel like somebody has decided to walk away because that is the best possible thing to do. There's no need to fight against somebody who wants to fight. You know, I've come to the conclusion that. I don't want to fight. I'll, I, it's it's wiser. It's smarter. It's more practical. It's more logical for me to just walk away. That's exactly what's going on here. Somebody is walking away from a partnership or a union that is too troublesome. It's too troublesome. You know, I have to keep my power. I have to keep my my wits about me. I have to, you know, refrain from this drama. I can't allow myself to be part of this drama anymore. Oh God, this is great. Somebody is putting in a lot of work. They're putting in a lot of effort uh, to go after wish fulfillment. That's what's going on here. It's like, you know, you've heard that saying before where, you know, it's about dreams coming true. You have to take that step, right? This is a card of dreams coming true, but you got to work hard to fulfill those dreams. You can't just dream the dream and not do anything. You have to you have to take action here. And I feel like somebody is somebody is walking away from a very conflicting situation where there was too much drama because I keep hearing the word drama in a partnership because they're ready. They're ready. They're ready to complete this chapter. I see a new beginning here. Somebody a new beginning that happens after somebody basically wakes up it's like all of a sudden it's like boom wake up call um and somebody is working really 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 hard to move forward with out knowing the outcome it's like i don't i don't need to know the outcome because i believe i believe that i have the power i have the ability i have the knowledge and i have the wisdom to basically get what i deserve I feel like we have somebody that has decided that I will not give up. I will not give up. I will not give up on my success, my future. I mean, this is success. It is. Somebody has decided that I can't pretend. I can't lie. I can't be in denial about this union, about this partnership, and I'm, I'm taking back my power. I feel like somebody may have received a message. This message could have come from, um, could have come from a friend, could, could have come from a, from a friend of a friend. It could have come from somebody who is, um, it could have come through gossip even. I see, I think that somebody has received a message that, they didn't want to hear but this message that they didn't want to hear has given them the wisdom the knowledge the ability to step over that finish line for real okay it's like a lesson has been learned I mean the world card is a lesson that has been learned somebody has learned a lesson about holding on to some sort of lie that a lesson has been learned 
and I can see that somebody is putting in extra effort to, you know, go after their dreams. Somebody may be filing for divorce. I mean, for some of you, somebody may be filing for divorce. I don't want this partnership anymore. I don't want this commitment anymore. You know, somebody could be be like, you know what? I, I want to travel. I want to. I want to uh, broaden my horizons. I, there's so much more to see. There's so much more to to be had than than here at rock bottom. Because I feel like somebody has. Because that roar song just. I mean, I keep hearing it. Hear me roar. You know. You can't keep me down. You can't keep me down. I'm going my own way. I'm going my own way with my head held high and there isn't nobody that can stop me. So I'm not sure who this reading is for, but I feel like we have somebody here that has absolutely positively taken back control of their lives. And we may have somebody, you know, in the mix that has enlightened them the hard way that, yeah, it is time to move on. Maybe this person told you something that you didn't want to hear and about a third party situation or about another person or who knows it could have it could have came you know through because I keep hearing a friend of a friend of a friend you know how that goes how the story rolls and it changes yeah we all know about that but I think there's been a message that has come through that has enlightened someone that it's it's time it's time to start over you know it's time to have your new beginning it's time to start that new chapter it's time to put in effort into yourself i mean that's what it looks like to me let's get some more cards we have a completion here we do we have a completion of a, a really difficult chapter we do one phase is over, and it's the phase that somebody has tried to hold on to, you know? It's like, it was comfortable holding on to that phase. It was comfortable holding on to that denial. But now it's like, I realize there's no partnership here. I realize there's no union here. I realize that it's time to walk away. So somebody is walking away from a union. I mean, you can't, you can't make that, you can't make that up. I mean, you can't make that up. I mean, this reading will not resonate with everybody, but somebody is walking away from a union right into something brand new. This chapter is over and it was a significant chapter. When you get the world card, it was something really big. Could have been a marriage. Okay. Definitely a partnership of some sort. A partnership is over. They, they've done all the, that they can do. Can't deny it. Can't lie about it anymore. Yes, it hurts. It does hurt. But it's also a reason to celebrate. It is. Because now you have the opportunity to expand, to travel. It's a great big world out there. And there's wish fulfillment at the end of this. In healing, in blessings. It's a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. It's a time of... Standing in your own power, really. That's what's going on. That's the energy that is, is out there on this day. It's like, you can't break me. You can't break me. Let's get some more cards. So, if the message hasn't been delivered, a message is going to be delivered and it may not be delivered with tact about a partnership that is over. There's a partnership that's over. There is. The message may have not come through yet, but somebody's going to end up walking away. Perhaps there's, there's, you know, three's a crowd, perhaps. Yeah, message is definitely going to be delivered. Yes, it is. That's They always do this for me. A message is going to be delivered and somebody's going to have to find the strength. Or they're finding it right now or they've already found it. 
to complete this chapter, to, to end this, whatever it is. Something is coming to an end with the world card. I don't know who this reading is for, but something is coming to an end once and for all. It's time to put in effort and work hard on following your dreams, protecting yourself, healing Somebody has been through a long period of healing, and now they're ready to take back control. They've gained wisdom. Somebody has gained a lot of wisdom. Oh boy, double strength. <laughs> I got the goosebumps. Double strength. And you know, it's funny, I said, you can't break me. Take a look at that card. It's taped. It's taped. It got broke, but it got fixed. <laughs> you can't, you can't, you're unbreakable. Who, somebody that is watching this needs to know that they are absolutely doing the right thing by honoring themselves. I mean, a lion is about honor, right? It is. Somebody is doing the right thing in honoring themselves by finding the strength and the courage and the confidence and the willpower and the force within them to take that blindfold off and accept whatever this is because that is, is exactly what is happening. Somebody is accepting a completion. It's over. There's been deception. There's been lies. There's been cheating. And, you know, there for some of you, there's been, these are both cards of cheating. So for some of you, there's been cheating. For some of you, it's just deception. Okay? It feels as though somebody has decided that it's time to follow their heart. And it's an emotional time. It's a very emotional time. But I think that somebody is mastering their emotions. Big time. Somebody has found the strength somehow. The inner strength to master their emotions. And complete. And complete. I mean, and to let this end. I feel like somebody has decided that it, it, it's really time to show what I can do, you know, show somebody else what I can do. Maybe go someplace else. Prove. I know what I can do. You know, that kind of energy. I know what I can do. I see that somebody is really working hard to prove how strong they are. There's a lot of strength here. Obviously, we have double strength, right? Somebody knows what they are worth. I will I will I will go someplace else. Somebody has allowed themselves to be deceived and this could even be self-deception. But it's like no. I know better. I'm wise enough. I feel like somebody has decided that it's time, it's time to bring peace of mind back and stop taking that, stop taking, stop wearing that blindfold. So I really feel like somebody is coming out of denial and seeing themselves in a whole new light. And I think this happens because there's some sort of communication that comes through that probably pushes them over the edge and forces them, 
because this is inner force, forces them to dig deep, to prove their, themselves, to themselves, really, to the world, to the world. This is proving yourself to the world. I put it right on top of the world. So somebody is, somebody is finding the strength to prove themselves that, you know what? I have the ability, I have the strength, I have the courage to dominate my life. And you will not break me. So that's the energy I'm picking up on. Is there a new love coming in? Well, there could be some self-love here because I see that somebody is going through a spiritual renewal right now. That's what we got going on here. This is a spiritual renewal, you know. And I think it's in. this is happening to get somebody ready for, you know, what they truly deserve, what they truly desire, what they, a blessing to get them ready for the blessing that they deserve. But they cannot cheat themselves. They cannot deceive themselves anymore. So I feel like we do have somebody that sees, sees that they were lying, sees to themselves. I think somebody's been lying to themselves. I really, really do. Although we also have somebody here that could be seeing that somebody else is cheating. Okay? Somebody could have noticed or caught on that somebody you know has been cheating so just for some of you there's some cheating going on here and perhaps it's getting you know the beans are being spilled somebody spilled the beans okay I feel like there's some sort of gossip too it's like something comes through and it really pushes somebody over the edge it really does it's just like yeah, I'm done I'm done um I do see that somebody is walking away from a lie, okay, um, because they're they're strong enough to, there's a lot of strength here, a lot. Somebody has really, really, really found their strength to master their emotions and just swallow their pride, hold their head up high, and head to a new destination. Somebody is working really, really hard at mastering their emotions, too. So whoever that is, congratulations. We have Leo here, strong. Aries, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be anybody. Either way. I believe that there is some sort of message or gossip or communication or something that is coming through or has come through that has really found somebody or, or, or made somebody find their inner strength, their courage, their confidence to just stand back up. I'm in control. Let's get one of these. I'm going to do the singles readings next. It's a time of strength. That's what it is. The next couple days of mastering emotions and getting ready. I mean, this is a spiritual renewal here. It is. And this message could have come intuitively. This could have been an intuitive message that came through. I said, you know what? I can't lie anymore. I got to accept this. Somebody is, is coming out of denial. That's what this is. They're seeing the truth, finally finally about a chapter that is done it is over fogged in go slow take time yes take your time all good things happen in time even if you can't see what's around the next corner, go forward slowly and gently. Remember we talked about blind faith at the beginning. You are safe. When you take the time to go slowly, new perceptions emerge that you can't see if you're moving fast. 
move away from the rapid pace of everyday life and step into the majesty of stillness. Resist the impulse to go ahead with your first instinct. Take time to tune in to your deeper intuition. Power is born in those times when you relax into the present moment. Sometimes the mist and the fog are so thick that the traveler feels uncertain about everything. Where am I going? What am I meant to do? Why can't I see what's ahead? However, it's those moments of unknowing that the deepest and most profound answers to life's big questions can emerge. The secret is to traverse slowly and carefully so as to not fall off the path. Be careful. Proceed with caution in all things as you sense the best direction. Listen to the whisperings of your soul. Trust your inner voice. And I can see that somebody has not been trusting their inner voice. And I think what, what this was is that they were stuck in a phase, stuck in a chapter, stuck in a union of some sort, a partnership that was very, there's a lot of power struggles, there was a lot of conflict, there was a lot of fighting, there was a lot of back and forth, there was a lot of push-pull, uh, you know, you can't win almost like narcissism you know that kind of energy like too much it was just too overwhelming and I feel like now somebody has come to the realization that I have to be strong enough to struggle through this ending and accept what is See, this is all strength here. Strength, strength, strength. It's a time of healing. It's a time of renewal. This is a spiritual renewal. It's about self-worth. Somebody has found their self-worth after hanging on to some sort of lie, okay? That's what this is. Congratulations. Take your time. You are definitely headed in the right direction. Good luck.